Hi, welcome back. I'm Melissa Lang and last time we addressed part one and part two of breathing. Today we're going to look at side lie breathing. Okay, this is one of my favourite exercises. Um, it's a really easy exercise to do correctly and to be able to feel the abdominals without thinking too heavily about what you need to be doing on the inside. But it's also a nice one for teachers to teach clients how to find their neutral position from a side lying position. So what you're essentially doing is when we lie on our side, our spine drops down. By doing this side lie breathing, you're actually bringing the spine back into its neutral position. So what you want to do is you want to lie yourself down, thinking of the spine being as long as it can. So if you could imagine that your head and pelvis is against a wall in the middle of your back, but then allow yourself to lengthen the tailbone towards your feet and the head towards your fingertips. So don't let the head drop forward, but keep the head in alignment so you can axial elongate the spine. Bend the knees up so they're in a chair position. And then allow the hips to relax so that you're not tucking the pelvis under. What you want to do is you want to take a nice deep breath in, allowing the abdominals to relax. And by relaxing the abdominals, you're relaxing the diaphragm. So you're, allowed, you're able to take in a deeper breath. So you want to breathe into the tummy and really allow yourself to let your stomach go. And then as you exhale, you're going to think of your alignment. So you're going to shift the hip so it's stacked right up on top of the other one and not sitting off. You're going to lift the rib cage up as high as you can. Then you're going to close the ribs at, at the front, which will allow the rib cage at the back to open. And you're going to draw all the internal musculature from the inside. So your iliopsoas is going to pull upwards, elongating the spine or helping to elongate the spine without pulling the pubic bone too. So think of pulling all the muscles from your lower abdominals up towards your sternum without pulling your pubic bone as well. And what you'll feel is the muscles will pull wide and flat across your hip bone. So let's do that again together. You're gonna to breathe in and allow everything to relax. Let your spine relax. Everything relaxes. And as you exhale, you shift the hip. You lift your rib. You waistcoat the ribs. And you zip up the abdominals. And just check with your fingers that you can feel that tightness around your waist. Again, breathing in. And as you exhale, shift the hip, lift the rib as high as you can, waistcoat and zip. Be careful not to let your shoulders get involved so you're not up here. Again, you can keep your hand down or you can lengthen your arm down and feel like the head is reaching for your fingertips. The sit bones are reaching outwards. You're not tucking your tailbone under, but you're just creating the longest possible spine and as much lift on the underneath side of your rib cage as you possibly can. So one more time, breathing in, exhale, shift the hip, lift the rib, waistcoat and zip. And by chanting that little saying in your head, it will be much easier for you to remember and practice at home because you'll start to hear my words in your mind.